Hi guys, Joe Barnes here. How are you doing? This is a quick video to show you how to resize an image. This is from a question from Claire Darwish, um, who sent me an email this morning. She's been up all night working on how to put together her Aweber form uh, using my videos. And she sent me an email this morning saying, Joe, I just cannot get this image to sit properly in my Aweber form. I need to resize it. I've searched everywhere to figure out how to do it. Um, but, uh, you know, as usual, Claire, it's a bit complicated out there and people don't explain things really, really easily. So that's what I intend to do for you right now. Um, so basically, um, I don't know if Claire's got a Mac or a PC, so I'm going to attempt to show you how to do it on a Mac and then on a PC, but I must warn you I'm using Parallels and it does run a bit slowly, so there might be the odd pause in the video as I'm trying to get it working. So as you can see, this is Claire's Aweber form. I hope she doesn't mind me showing you and using it as an example. Um, but basically, here's her image. And you can see it's cut off here because it's too wide. And the image is actually 675 pixels wide by 369 pixels down. So that's what we need to change. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, basically, what I've done is I've saved the image by right-clicking and saving the image onto my desktop. Okay? So I've now got the image, and I'm going to show you how to resize it. So let's go into the images and let's go and find Claire's example. There it is. So I'm on my Mac at the moment, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to simply open it. And what that what happens is on a Mac, it opens in a program called Preview. Yeah? So Preview is the easiest program in the world to use to resize an image. You just basically go into Tools up here on the toolbar and go down to Adjust Size. Okay? And then in here, you can see you've got the width and the height. Now, you can either choose to scale it proportionally, or you can choose to change the width or the height separately. Okay? So, for instance, if I say that I think 550 is going to hit, you can see it automatically is going to um, fit. Sorry, You can see it automatically changes the height to 301 there, yeah? because I've left the scale proportionally ticked. So, if I then click, it just simply resizes that image. If, however, you wanted to keep that um, size, wanted to keep the height rather, then go back to, to the original size there, yeah, and then go into, go back into it and untick scale proportionally, change that width to 550, it retains the height, yeah, and then all it does is it squashes it up a little bit, but it retains the height for you and it just takes in those sides there a little bit. OK, um, so you can obviously play with that to your heart's content and decide exactly what size, etc., that you want it to be. So that's how you do it on a Mac. OK, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and show you the program that I use in um, my PC. But what I'll do is I'll quickly just use this in the Mac to show you. If I go into Earthen View, there it is. OK, that's what I use on my PC. It's www.earthenview.com. I R F A N view.com. Okay, so on a PC, you just basically log in and download the current version onto your um, PC, onto your desktop. It's completely free, um, so that's absolutely fine. So I'm now going to go in to my images and pick the example again, and I'm going to open with Earthen View. And oh my goodness, look, there it is. Up comes my PC as quick as you like. Look at that. Gosh, it's been really slow this morning and bang, it's working. Hoo-hoo. So here we have Earthen View. Now, obviously, I've opened it from my Mac. So what you'd do in your PC is you would simply go to your Earthen View icon there, which is going to be on your desktop, double click, and that's going to open up your Earthen View um, screen. And then you would go in to your files and go and find your image. Okay, and that would then open your image on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Image and go down to Resize and Resample. I'm watching the time, guys, because I want this done in under five minutes. And once again, you've got that preserved aspect ratio tick down here. So if we leave that ticked and click on 550, oops, 5,500, then it changes the height again as well. See? And it does that. If we go back to resize and resample and put it back to the original, always go back to the original, guys, if you're going to play with it, because otherwise it starts resizing it from where it just was, and then it gets very complicated. And we undo that, and then we go 550, and then it squ squashes it up again. And there you go. That's how you resize an image. And with both of those, you simply go File, Save As, Save the Image, upload it to your hosting uh, FTP client or your hosting company, and then you can use that as your URL in your Aweber 
form or anywhere else you want to use images. Okay, I've just gone over the five minutes, so that's it. Thank you very much. I hope it's helped you, Claire. I hope that's helped you, and I hope it's helped everybody else who's watching. Okay, guys, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.